everyone and welcome back to another video. This week is slightly different because I've been to Asda and I wanted to see how much I could get for about £100. Um, lots of people seem to be trying to stick to about £50 or £60 a week so I thought actually it might be easier to kind of do a fortnightly shop and see what we can get for, for £100 and see if we can make it last for two weeks. I think realistically £200 for a family of four is as cheap as we could do it for a month. Um, even if you kind of go for vegetarian meals and things, everything is creeping up. I noticed I needed oil today and that is really expensive. Milk has gone up. Even just the essentials. Um, and uh, speaking of essentials, as you can see, there's quite a lot of the yellow packaging in my shop. So I did try and get the kind of budget stuff and non-branded items where I could. Um, so the table is very full. I'm quite impressed for £100. So what I'll do is I'll put all the prices on the screen for you like I did last week. And then I'll give you the total at the end and the meal plan for kind of two weeks that we're planning on doing. And then next week I'll probably just maybe show you a top up if I need to get some milk and bread and fruit. Um, but again, I'll try and get those as cheap as I can, maybe some yellow sticker items or kind of some budget range. So I'll let you know. Apologies if you can see, I'm, I've had a cold and my eye has gone like really red and sore. So that looks a bit strange. So apologies for that. Um, but yeah, I'll spin you around and show you what we've got. And then I'll put the price on the screen at the end and share with you the meal plan. Okay, so as always, I'll start with the fruit and veg. So I've got two of these packs of the Just Essentials Gala Apples. I really like those and they were a really good price. So I've got two packs of those. And then I got for the two for two pound offer, it actually worked out cheaper to buy these grapes rather than the Just Essentials. So I got the green grapes and the um, sweet clems. They were on the offer as well. So they were two for two pounds. And then I've got Henry, his usual blueberries. He really likes those um, for breakfast. So I've got a pack of those for him. And then I've got our usual Garden Gang bananas. I find that they are a better size, really, for the children. And even me and my husband don't really like, you know, we don't need a huge one if you're going to have cereal or toast or yogurt or whatever. So they're perfectly fine. So you get eight in there. So I've got those. And then, of course, I had to get Archie's favourite Granny Smith's apples. He does like these ones, but he will always say, oh, did you not get any Granny Smith's? So I got those. And then on to the veg. These are the baking potatoes. And I have never in my whole time of buying potatoes known to get one as big as this. I mean, they're all a really good size. So they're good. They're £1.25, I think. So I got those. And then I got some of the baby new potatoes as well for dinners. I got a head of broccoli, quite a small one this week. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough or not, but I'm sure we can make it stretch. So I got one of those and I got the crunchy carrots as well. And just a cucumber as we always like that um, for sandwiches or on the side of dinners and things. So I got that. And then... I'll stay with the chilled bits and bobs. So I've got one of the smoked back bacon. I've got one of the whole chickens from the Just Essentials. And that was only £2.96. So that, that's a really good price. I've got two packs of the Essentials pork sausages for dinners. I'll use one this week and put one in the freezer for next week. So I've got those. I've got a large clover because we're pretty much out Um that was on offer, but I do find it's quite expensive. But um, that is my favourite one. So I've got a clover. Um, I've got a pack of the Just Essentials ham. It's slightly more like a luncheon meat, poloni kind of texture. But the boys really like it and it's perfect size for their sandwiches. So I've got a pack of that. And then i also got some pepperoni. I'm going to do two dinners with the pepperoni. So I've got those. Um, I'm going to do some baking, so I've got one of these biscuits and pastry um, 
well, it's not butter, is it? It's like spread, I suppose, vegan. Um, so it's like a dairy-free spread. Um, but that was only a pound, I think it was. And the butter is two pound for a block. So I thought for pastry, that will be fine. So I got that. I got a large block of the cheese. What I am finding is if you buy, I think, the bigger packs or in bulk, it's a lot better price per... 100 grams or kilo or whatever they're measuring it in so this works out a lot cheaper to buy a big block and hopefully that will last us the two weeks so i got that i got two of the just essentials garlic breads just to go on the side of pasta dishes i got the boys some of the chocolate mousses they're a really good size for them not too big um and they're really really cheap so i got some of those again I got my husband his usual Greek style yogurt. This one is really thick and creamy. He said it tastes like the Yeo Valley um, honey yogurt. So that's really good because it's £1.20 for that big pot. And I do just decant some. I keep the goo, you know, the goo puddings, you get the glass dishes. I just decant some of that into one of the glass dishes for him in the morning. And he has that for breakfast. Um, I got an orange juice. It isn't a fridgy one. It's a long life one, um, but I'll pop it in the fridge. I got four pints of blue milk. And like I say, it's gone up to 155 now for four pints, which is crazy. But I suppose everyone is having to pay more for energy and things like that. So it's just kind of getting passed on to us. So, I mean, if you need milk, you need milk. But I do think it's one... I remember when it was 109 and then 115 and it's gradually gone up and up and up so 155 now but it is what it is so we've got that and then these were on offer as well so I've got the strawberry and banana ones for the boys to try this week we've had the black currant ones and the orange ones so I thought I'd move on to strawberry so um you only get four in there but they just have it a couple of mornings normally over the weekend um and have that as a bit of a treat so I've got those on to the cupboardy bits. So I've got two of the micro golden veg rice and that's for a dinner I'm going to do. So I've got those. Um, I've got some dates because I made a sticky toffee pudding last week and we've still got a lot of the sauce left. So I'm going to whip up the cake and then just use up the sauce on the top. So I've got some more dates. Um, I got some bear yo-yos for the boys for after school. I've got a big thing of crisp and dry oil oil is so expensive now and they didn't have any of the smaller ones so i think that was over a fiver i paid for that which is ridiculous um but we've run right out so i've got one of those i've got a granulated sugar there for my sugar tin i've run out of sugar so i've got another one i've got one of these sage and onion stuffings to try with the chicken on sunday um, and then I've got a marmalade because I love marmalade on toast and I've run out. I haven't tried the essentials one before, but I thought I would give it a go. So I've got that. I've got four tins of tuna. I'm going to do two dinners with that. It's probably going to be a tuna pie recipe that I saw, which um, I will obviously share with you. Um, and also probably jacket potatoes with some tuna on as well. So that they'll do a couple of dinners. I've got some tomato puree for the cupboard and some of the essentials pasta for the jar. And then I've got two of the just essentials apple and blackcurrant squashes for the cupboard. I've still got some orange left from the large one I got last week. So I've just got two blackcurrant. I've got some breadsticks there for the boys to have after school. I've got my favourite decaf Yorkshire tea hiding down there. And then onto the tins, I've got two of the beans and little sausages. And then I've got three of the essentials baked beans and three of the essentials chopped tomatoes. And then I've also got two tins of the essentials peach slices for the boys to have for puddings as well. I've got a custard under there to have. I've got some apple sauce left from our apples in the garden. So I'm going to make a crumble at some point. So I've got a custard to go with the crumble. I've got two jars of the creamy tomato pasta bake. They're going to be for two dinners, obviously, pasta bake and garlic bread. So I've got those. 
I've got some of the essential Nutella to try. Um, we use this to make brownies, so I'm going to use give this cheap one a go. So I'll let you know how they turn out. It's a five ingredient brownie and they're really easy. So if you'd be interested in seeing that, um, I can share that with you as well. Um, I've got some lemon curd and some strawberry jam. Me and the boys are going to make some strawberry, well, some jam tarts and some lemon curd tarts at the weekend. So I'm gonna make pastry and then obviously we've got these to go in the tarts. Um, and then I've got some Rocky Caramels for lunch boxes and some chocolate butter biscuits and some jam and cream rings for the biscuit tin. I've got one of these Winter Wonderland. That was on offer for a pound. I know it's a bit Christmassy, but I'm here for Christmas now. I'm done with summer and I'm ready for Christmas. So I saw that on offer and I thought actually it's just milk and white chocolate really. So I got that to try. So that was a pound, I think. And then I've got 12 medium free range eggs. They will be for the baking that we're doing and also for breakfasts. Um, I've got some of the chocolate rice cakes this time for the boys to try. So they're the cocoa ones. So I've got those. And then I've got a big pack of the variety crisps up there. So you get 24. So it's six prawn cocktail, six cheese and onion, six salt and vinegar, and six ready salted. Um, and then the only non-food items I got was a 24 pack of this Feather Soft toilet roll. Like I say, um, it was the cheapest way to buy it um, because the four packs and stuff, it worked out a lot more per roll than if you buy the big pack. So I got 24 rolls to, to, of this one to try. And the only other thing was a washing up liquid. And then the bakery, I've got our usual 50-50 King's Mill loaf. I've got a pack of nine crumpets for breakfast. I'm going to use five and freeze four for next week um, because it was cheaper to buy the nine pack than two six packs. So um, I'm going to freeze half of those for next week. I've got two of the white rolls for essentials. One will be for pet lunches and one will be for chicken burgers for dinner. So I've got those. I've got some bagels for lunches. My husband's got some smoked salmon left over and um we also like them toasted with cheese and ham in if you haven't tried that it is amazing we put cheese and ham in the middle put a bit of the butter on top and the bottom and then put it in the george foreman grill and just toast it and it is amazing so that's one of our favorite lunches so i've got some more of bagels i got some pita breads which is going to be for pita pizzas for dinner and some of the Essentials tea cakes hiding under there as well, mainly for breakfasts. And then lastly is just the freezer items. So I've got some of the fruit stack ice lollies. Henry's been asking for these for ages, so I've got a pack of those. I've got some steak and gravy pies for dinner. And then I've also got this beef mince with onion. Obviously, you don't get as much mince in there, but I thought for a bolognese or a cottage pie or something where you add onion anyway, that's actually really handy. So, um, there's 650 grams in there. So, I'm going to try and get two dinners out of it and just bulk it up with some veg. Um, but we'll see, because the frozen mince does often cook down quite a lot. So, I'll see if I can get two dinners out of that or not. Um... I got a pack of these eight breaded chicken burgers. Um, I looked at the meat content for these compared to the bird's eye ones because I thought if these don't have a lot of meat in them, I'll just get the bird's eye ones. But actually, these, I think, I had 2 or 3% less chicken than the bird's eye and you get eight in there um, for less money than you get four bird's eye ones. So um, they will hopefully do us two dinners. And then I got some fish fingers and some breaded fish fillets my husband and i will have the breaded fish and the boys will have the fish fingers so that will do two dinners because normally archie has three fish fingers and henry has two and then um obviously we have a bit of fish each and we do it with some veg and some chips and things so 
um that should hopefully do two dinners and then i got some frozen peas some of the sliced mixed peppers and some of the sliced red onion as well because i thought if i'm making it last two weeks this will keep obviously in the freezer and then that will be there whenever we need it for dinners so that is everything that i got this week and i will put the exact price on the screen for you now but it was just over a hundred pounds and i think for a hundred pounds considering i got the toilet roll which was quite a lot and the oil was about a fiver i'm actually really impressed with that i think that is a lot of food and like i say i'm going to try and make that stretch for two weeks so it will be 50 pound a week apart from we may need to get some more milk and maybe some more apples um but this should really do us for two weeks so i'm impressed with that 50 pound ish a week let me know what you think and if there's any recipes i've mentioned that you would like me to share please leave a comment down below and I'm happy to record those as separate recipe videos for you. So just let me know um, and let me know what you think. Do you think that's good value? I'm really rating Astra at the moment for um, being good value. Um, and I've been watching Lily Ann do her fortnightly shops and I think maybe that is a good way if you want to buy in bulk um, to... To kind of save some money and make it stretch so i'll leave her channel link down below in case you haven't seen her videos um but yeah i'm really impressed so i'm going to pop it away and then i will share with you the meal plan okay so here's a look at the meal plan so today's friday and we're going to have pita pizzas and then next friday we'll have cheats jambalaya with the other half of the pepperoni Saturday, I've put tuna jackets for one day and spaghetti bolognese for one day. There may well be some mince left over, but that frozen mince does tend to cook down quite a lot. So I may only get one dinner out of that. Sunday will be roast chicken this week and then the steak pies next week. And then Mondays, I've put pasta bake and garlic bread for both weeks because Archie does cubs on a Monday. So we're often in a bit of a rush. So we just have a quick one on a Monday. Tuesday, I've kind of put the sausage dinners. So we've got sausage and mash, and then I'll do toad in the hole on the other week, and it'll probably be with new potatoes and veg. Wednesday, I've put chicken burgers and then chicken wraps. Um, if we don't fancy the burgers two weeks, I do have some chicken breasts left in the freezer from last week. So I could do some kind of chicken fajita kind of wraps rather than chicken burger wraps, but we'll see what we think. Thursday is kind of a fish dinner, so we've got fish chips and beans one week and the boys will have fish fingers and then I'll do the tuna pie on the other week and then it'll be back to the second Friday again. Obviously we will have um, a few bits left over, so we may use those for lunches or they might roll over to the week after um, and obviously we might move these days around a bit. But there's definitely enough food there for kind of 14 meals so i'm really impressed with that let me know what you think do you think that's a good meal plan for 100 pounds um is there anything you would like to see me do as a separate recipe video let me know um and as always thanks so much for watching guys i really appreciate it and if you've enjoyed please don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in the next one bye